drug development protocol by simple biology from the laboratory to the shelf. Any drug to have a license and to be produced on large scale, it has to undergo two main stages, preclinical testing and the clinical trials, and then it will have a license. The preclinical testing takes place in the lab. And the first step is basic research. Scientists, they have to understand all the processes and pathways behind the disease at the cellular and molecular level. After understanding this, they identify possible targets of the new treatment. After identifying the possible targets of the new treatment and advanced search, these now searching for molecules or compounds that act on this target. And in this case, computers are used and the study of genetics and proteins would help as well. So scientists may start from 10,000 compounds and limiting their search into 10 to 20 theoretically uh, uh, compounds that interfere with the disease in process. And also the computers help them make or develop the specific structure of the new treatment or the possible structure of the new treatment. The third step is testing on animals. Why testing on animals? Because they, are, they have similar maybe morphology and anatomy to humans. We cannot test uh, on humans at this stage. So this is to ensure that these molecules are safe and at the same time they are effective. But remember, animals, they have or they raise ethical issues, and, but better than uh, working on humans at this stage. The evidence from these testings is reviewed by medical and scientific experts. If it's approved, then it will go into the next stage and on human testing, which are the clinical trials. The first phase of the clinical trials, it should be done on small group of healthy volunteers. They should be volunteers. At the same time, they have to be paid. The number of this group should not exceed 100, from 20 to 100. And the main purpose of these testings is to identify the side effects of the uh, possible treatment and also to find an interval of the dose that should be administered. In this case, like they use small doses in to avoid uh, side effects or to avoid like possible side effects. If it's considered safe enough, then it will progress to phase two. Many of the possible treatments will fail at this stage. In phase two, this drug is tested on small group of patients, and this group should not exceed 500 patients, and they should be also volunteering for the process. This aims to test the efficacy of the drug, if it's really efficient or not, and also to determine the most effective dose and the method of delivery. Is it like tablets or uh, intravenous uh, delivery of the drug? Also to reconfirm the product safety because the volunteers are still being monitored to check if there are side effects or not. In phase two of the clinical trials, placebo is used. Placebo means that it, like it's, uh, it looks like a drug, but it does not have the active ingredient. This is just like to eliminate any psychological effect of having or taking a drug. In phase three, also, the, the drug now is used on large group of patients. This group should be between 10,000, sorry, 1,000 and 5,000 patients, and they should be from multiple international sites. So here to see if the drug is efficient on, uh, effective on different like populations from different places. Also, at this stage, we are still monitoring the side effects from the phase one and phase two trials. So this to reconfirm the phase two findings identify the best dosage and also placebo here is still used we have double blind test neither the uh, doctor or nor the patient know which is the placebo which is uh, the real drug in at this stage we end up with risk versus benefit the overall risk of the drug versus the benefits of the drug 10 percent of the possible treatments may fail at this stage as well after it is approved by the authorities, then they will apply to a license. So the scientists apply to a license, the drug will have a license and the scientists will have a patent for that drug. They can produce this drug over large scale for 20 years, like it's like a copyright. So let's summarize. Drug development protocol starts with identifying the target of the treatment, 
test on the cell tissues, then test on animals. After that, we move to testing on humans, clinical trials phase one, then clinical trial phase two. And if the drug passes, then it's uh, done, uh, it passes to the clinical trial phase three. If it passes all of these testings, then they apply for a license. This is drug development protocol. And uh, thank you for watching.